Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video here. So I was just going over some uh, some of what Pierre Paul Yeb has been tweeting today, and I got to say it's pretty interesting. I just wanted to have a look here. Uh, the first thing I wanted to let you guys know is the Liberal MPs and staff are telling journalists that Freeland is incompetent, yet Trudeau put her in charge of half a trillion dollar budget. No wonder 25% of people are in poverty, housing costs have doubled, our incomes have fallen the most in the G7. Trudeau picked this. Now it says, you know, there's an article here from the Toronto Star. I was going to read that to you guys, but unfortunately they want you to subscribe and pay money to them. And I'm not paying money to subscribe to the Toronto Star, which it's surprising they even said this because they're so liberal, uh, liberally biased. But, you know, I mean, everyone just seems to be turning on, you know, Christian Freeland. I mean, she's the finance minister. We have added so much money to our debt. Our money has been horribly mismanaged, sending so much of it to other countries instead of helping Canadians, uh, which is where the money should be going. We pay the taxes. Our government are our employees. They serve us. That's not what they're doing. And people are, are getting pretty upset about that. So, you know, if you want to go to Toronto Star, if you are subscribed to them, it's it's the you can just suit uh, just type in the search option, Christia Freeland. And this article is like the second or third one that comes up. And it's called, with no sign of Justin Trudeau leaving, some Liberal MPs want major changes in his cabinet. Clearly, what's happening is not working. So if you want to go ahead and have a look at that full article, that would be an option for you if you wanted to do it that way. But it, it's kind of crazy, you know, when you think about some of these stats that Pierre Polyev's talking about, 25 people, sorry, 25% of people are in poverty. I mean, that's wild. 25% of people are going in, into food banks. So, I mean, if anyone can make donations, if you're if you're one of the people, the, one of the few people who's doing well financially and you do have a, a, you know, a passion for helping people, one way you could do it is to make a donation of whatever you can to your local food bank because I'm sure they're going to need it. You know, it, it's tough for them to keep up with uh, that much food because they're not used to having that many people come and see them for help. So... Any donations would greatly be appreciated by anyone in the community, whether you're using them or not, because it is a good service. Um, <clears throat> and then again, you know, the housing costs that they've doubled, there's no there's no new news there, but it's just, you know, kind of bringing out all of these you know, different policies that have been just horrible under this liberal government. Look at what they've caused. I mean, it's just destroying the country in real time. You know, it, it's, it's just, it's sad to see, and it's sad, it's even more sad that we have to wait. Uh, I also found this other article here just above. I just reposted this on X as well. BC is finally ending the insane vaccine mandates that shut out so many loyal nurses. How many people were denied care because these unscientific, keyword, mandates pushed away needed nurses? Every single nurse should get their job again with back pay. So I'll be honest with you. I had no idea that BC was still under the mandate emergencies. I mean, that's... <laughs> Still, they just figured it out. I mean, that's just... What's going on with BC, by the way? Oh, that's right. You elected an NDP premier. Maybe you'll learn your lesson next time and not destroy your own province, especially... Like, let's start with Vancouver. I mean, it, it's just disgusting what's happened in there. Beautiful province. I've never personally been there, but every you know everyone sees videos and, and pictures and whatnot. It, it looks like a really cool place to go travel. Not anymore. Not if you want to go to one of the major cities anyway. But I really like here how Pierre Polyev said unscientific mandates. Because remember, that was viewed as a conspiracy theory just a couple of years ago. And not very many politicians are coming out and saying that kind of thing. So I'm glad Pierre Polyev is saying that. And I also like that he wants those nurses to get a job with back pay. Because that's what they deserve. Because they were wrongfully terminated. It's absolutely bullshit that you'll fire nurses for not getting a vaccine. Well, well now there's a shortage of nurses. Oh, I wonder why. I mean, Trudeau, Freeland, that whole cabinet, it's just full of dumbasses. About 100 of them are going to lose their job in October, hopefully October of 2025, uh, hopefully sooner. But it's, I don't know if Jagmeet Singh will actually turn on Trudeau or not. He might be forced to in, you know, around this time next year or before when so many people start defaulting on their houses, people are going to start calling for an election even more than they are now. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about what happened in BC and also what you think about journalists calling Christian Freeland incompetent. I think it's very interesting and pretty funny and also true. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I really enjoy uh, reading and uh, 
you know, engaging with you guys through the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.